PGD, or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, is very popular these days. What PGD is, it's the way of testing the embryo prior to placing the embryo into the uterus or transferring the embryo for pregnancy. What happens is we grow the embryo in the laboratory to the blastocyst stage. We biopsy the embryo at the blastocyst stage to get a genetic diagnosis for that embryo. Ultimately, we know if the embryo is chromosomally normal or not. And just as a review, there are 22 pairs of chromosomes plus the X and the Y chromosome, which makes you either a female or a male. The genetic testing will look to make sure that we have every set of chromosomes available, meaning that there are two ones and two twos, all the way up to two 22s, and then either two Xs or two Ys. So we make sure that the, the embryo is chromosomally normal prior to putting the embryo into the uterus. Doing the genetic testing or PGD on the embryo is vital to producing a normal pregnancy. It's estimated that about 50 to 90 percent of embryos are chromosomally abnormal. And I realize that's a wide range, but it really varies with age. For instance, a patient in her 20s and early 30s may have 50 percent of her embryos chromosomally, uh, being chromosomally abnormal. Whereas a patient in her 40s, 90% of her embryos may be chromosomally abnormal. So the benefit of PGD is it allows us to pick out the normal embryos and place normal embryos into the uterus, thereby really improving the pregnancy success rate. If we're placing one chromosomally normal embryo into the uterus for a patient, the pregnancy success rate is somewhere between 70 to 80% with a very low miscarriage risk for these patients.